Hey guys, Will here, and uh, it's a beautiful day as you see. Just outside relaxing, and I wanted to show you guys some nano holes. I'm uh, really loving this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on this uh, window without cleaning it or doing anything. So, first thing I have to do is Move these little plastic cards from it. And then I'm gonna just put this on here and press. Wait two seconds, give it a little tug, now we're good. Okay, so oh it's not on. Oh it is on. Okay. Oh, that's right, I got the brightness very low. There we go. So let's uh, let's watch some YouTube, right? I mean, what I like about it, it gives a nice flat, um, flat surface. It's not going to be bright. This is not going to be bright for long. I'm at six percent. That means it's uh, dropping down, and you can't even connect to YouTube, and I can't even type YouTube. So. All right, we're loading now. Yay, battery's low. Now I can be able to see a thing. Uh, oh well. Alright guys, well that's nano hold. Um, that is what it is. I've got two on there, two on this little galaxy tab. I think it's pretty neat. So I'm gonna just uh going to be watering the plants. So guys, there's, I did a test earlier today, uh, thanks to Joseph, right, Joseph Climera, uh, he did this little test and uh, he showed, he showed that it seems like uh, he could make things disappear like they were under the horizon. Freaking ant, get off me. This guy won't even get off. Well, not Al, but it didn't, it's not like it hurt, but I could feel it. Uh, so he did this test and he showed that uh, it's, it's as if you could, um, you could make them disappear. And I was skeptical, so I went ahead and I went ahead and did my own test of it, right? And, you know, I, I did a test yesterday and it came out okay. Uh, I didn't really see any results. Uh, I told Joseph that, you know, no, I didn't, I didn't get any results. I wasn't able to get any. And uh, then I went back through it again today. And I realized my problem. I had my items directly up against the container that I was using as a lens. And uh, so I decided to redo the program again. Uh, redo the test, redo the experiment. So I redid the experiment and boy, was I surprised. I actually came out with, uh, came up with some results. Didn't think I would. Uh, and and, and those, the results were very intriguing. I mean, very, uh, it was not what I expected. Let's just say that. I did not expect to get the results that I got. Hey, I'm watering my dog poop down into the yard. Fun, 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 right? I didn't expect to get the results, so 
boy was I surprised. Um, you know, I was a skeptic. I thought that, uh, you know, when you watch his video, you watch Joseph's video, it seems like, well, he's moving the, he's moving the camera, and so you get a little bit of the camera shake, and then it kind of looks where it's kind of, I'm not saying suspicious, but you doubt, you're like, okay, well, did he move the camera underneath there to get, did, what I'm saying is, you wonder if he moved the camera lower than the, uh, the horizon of the, the countertop level, basically. Uh, did he move the counter, did he go lower than the countertop level, and is that why we saw this movement? Uh, is that why we saw this change? And, uh, you know, I, that's what I was skeptical of, and then I was skeptical he used kind of like a Brita water filter pitcher thing that was curved, and so, you know, I tried my same pitcher, I, I wanted to use the same water pitcher, and, uh, boy, was I, well, I wasn't, I wasn't ready to see how scratched up that, that water pitcher was, I definitely used that quite a bit, uh, wasn't ready for that. And then I used a small, um, small, flat-sided little glass bottle that my mom gave me recently. She just gave it to me a couple days ago. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, because it's really odd shaped. It won't stand up. It's got a very odd bottom. And uh, it worked perfectly. I really got the distortion and there seemed to be a uh, there seemed to be like a distance away from where the lens and the uh, well, I almost like focal difference focal distance where the lens is the correct amount of distance away from the objects that, that we're looking at on the horizon and then at that distance they seem to disappear a lot better. Um, I did look at the whole focal gambit, uh, the entire spectrum from close up to the object to close up to the camera, uh, back and forth. And uh, so you could see the difference there. But, uh, you know, guys, it's just. Uh, I didn't expect the results. I should, I'd sure love your comments on, okay. Well, what does that show you? Of course, it's not proof, right? To me, this is this is clues that we can take that say, okay, here's another explanation of what may be going on. This may be going on in real life. This may be what we see. This may be what, what we attribute to seeing this globe effect. Um, you know, are we seeing the effects of a globe? Earth, or are we seeing something else that we're explaining with the globe theory? Um, of course, from my other research, I think it's uh, the globe theory is explained by these things, not that these things prove the globe theory. Um, more that it's like we misunderstand things and we explain them by terms that we already know so the only way that we can explain what we're seeing is with these terms that we've already created about our world and our knowledge about our environment and everything is based with this global definition this, this global thesis uh globist i guess i'd say so uh you know i i think there's a little bit of perspective bias there you know, where not only do you only see, you only see what you're ready to see, but the explanations that you can give, the explanations that you can give based on what you see, you're only able to explain based on the knowledge that you have. Um, so I think it's kind of ridiculous to say that these things that we see, they're explanations of them. And I think that's the furthest from the case. I think it's, I think there's things that we can't explain and that we should, we should look and see if there's some other explanations for this. So guys, 
really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you being here while I'm just watering my yard a little bit. And, uh, trying, to, trying to keep this grass a little green, right? The dogs love it. So, there we have it. That's, that's our backyard. We're working on it. Uh, got a couple fruit trees. Uh, one's a lemon tree and one's a, I think that bushier one over where the water's pointed at. I think that's a mandarin tree and I think this one's a uh, this one right here is a lemon tree. These two are crepe myrtles. Um, yeah. Alright guys, well, appreciate it. Take care. Um, like always, I hope you figure out things for yourself. Uh, if there's anything that you look at that you know I've missed or you think I uh, just looked at my experiment and assumed everything wrong. Do you think my conclusions are wrong? Uh, please let me know. Um, of course, if you guys come over any uh, brand new research on this flat earth, please let me know. I'm curious about it. This is a definite passion right now. So. Let's find my girls. Girls? Come on. Here's my girls. Who's my girls? Yes, you are. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Oh, Bella. Hi, Bella. Bella, yeah. Hi, Maggie. Maggie, sit. Good girl. Wait. Uh, wait. Good girl. Uh, wait. Wait. Ah. Uh, no, ma'am. Go, oh, good girl. Yeah. Oh, and there's Bella sitting. She wants some too. Good girl, Bella. Good sit. Yes, ma'am. So, guys, that's that. I do some more mowing of the yard. The grass is getting up. Um, pretty interested to test this diffraction test with some different curved glasses, different distances. And uh, I definitely think static camera is the way to go. Come on, girls. Let's go inside.